three, two, one. Hi there, so Hi, I'm, I'm with Damien today from uh, Cook & Co. Uh, Damien, say hello to the fans. Hi there. Hi, everyone. So um, Damien and I have uh, known each other a while, actually. Um, best part of probably the 18 months or so, but you know, everyone knows each other. It's all social world now. And uh, we got talking and um, we've been uh, working together uh, for only a few months now. So uh, I'll let Damien um, talk to you about you know, sort of why he came to us and hopefully, you know, uh, what's been the results so far. So, Damien, no take problem. it away. I mean, we, we've, we've been trading for 30 years um, at Cook & Co. And we're, we're coming down here in the seaside towns. And I was looking, I like to look at trying to look at new technology, seeing how I search for things online. Um, and I realised we had quite a sort of gap in, in our... Uh, people trying to find us, you know, we, organically on Google, we were great, but I didn't have the expertise or, or the knowledge to sort of look at how to advertise properly on Google and spend the money correctly. We've had sort of had a go in the past ourselves at Google AdWords. It was very hit and miss, didn't really know what we're doing. Um, and then I think, Pete, I was recommended to you, wasn't I? Um, somebody said to me, have you looked at this guy? Go online, have a look. He knows what he's talking about, especially for estate agents. Um, and that's when I found you. Um, and it's been a complete turnaround for us. I mean, it's, it's fabulous. I mean, we, we found now that we're getting really fantastic value for money. We're getting people that wouldn't have found us finding us really easily on Google. Um, and it, it's certainly money well spent from my point of view. Yeah, and what I mean, it's it's you know, I always say to people, you know, there's declar there's you know, success is never a straight line. Um, mm. you know, certainly Google and Facebook, they're all throwing up little obstacles, like you know, little terms of policies and that sort of stuff. It's you know, it's I suppose you know, the real success is that daily management of an account because you know, the agents that try it themselves, they'll do it. And I've got clients who have gone through our training program, but they leave it and think that it's yeah going to work for them like three months down the line uh it's you know it's so you do need to babysit it and obviously with i i think you know that the, the problem with with the state agents i think i said this earlier is the state agents we all we love we not love collecting the shiny new things we're like little magpies flying around collecting all these things and saying oh yeah we'll do this we'll do this we'll do video tours we'll do we'll do 3d tours we'll do virtual reality we'll buy headsets for the office we'll do all this sort of thing and the problem is, it, if you're trying to do it yourself, you run out of time because at the end of the day, you prioritise your clients. Yeah. They want to talk to you. So you're thinking, so it gets pushed back and back and back. And I think, as you said, with, with something like Google and with advertising, you've got to keep it fresh. You've got to keep it on the ball. And having a, a meeting with you regularly, what, what it shows me is what we're doing. But I'm not doing all the legwork in the background. You're, you're showing me and what, what you're doing and making it, which makes gives me value and also shows me actual physical results because I get more valuations or I get more people looking. And I think that's really, really key to it. I think it's all well and good. Anyone can do it, but it's doing it regularly and using your expertise. You know, it's a bit like painting the wall. I could paint the wall, but it wouldn't be as good as somebody who does it every day, knows what they're talking about. Don't talk to me about decorating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. sitting. I'm literally sitting here for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I always, I always say I'll paint the wall. Then I find the, I find the painter, and he comes in and does it properly. Oh, you know, I might have fun with the paint, but it never looks very good. <laughs> and it's much the same with Google, isn't it? Or an advertising. If you, if you don't know what you're doing, 100, percent there's always that hit and miss. So you're just wasting your money. Really. Yeah, I mean a lot of the, you know, I mean, you know, essentially, I mean. In your words now, not mine, but what would you say to somebody who's like sort of, I don't know, was in your, in, on the same, probably the same fence as you, what, four or five months ago or three months ago, however long you've been working together now, but, you know, what would you, what would you sort of say to somebody who's not sort of thinking about or, you know, not sure what to do? I, I would say, I, I would certainly give you a call or contact you online. I mean, I'm sure you'll have all the, the bits and pieces. I think you've got to sort of get out of this mentality of trying to do everything yourself or, paying huge companies that you, you've got faceless companies who they can do it for you, but you'll never hear from them. And you, you might get an email and you'll look at it and it all looks very nice. A bit, a bit like certain portals that I can mention. 
um, and it all looks very flash, but it doesn't actually give you results and you don't really understand what you're looking at. Whereas with you, it's, it's I know I'm getting the value because I'm getting the new valuations and, uh, and whatever, but I'm also being shown why I'm getting them and, and what we're doing to keep it fresh. So I would say certainly give you a call and, and, and you know, try something new. And I think that would work really well for them. Yeah, and see what the conversation starts with. Not everyone that we talk to, you know, you'll be pleased to hear that we don't take on. Because yeah. it's all about the mindset as well. If I yeah. see an agent who's like bugging about spending or investing in their business, it's usually the office that's like falling down. Yeah. You know, and the yeah. back street because they didn't come back. So, you know, if you're if you're not in the right mindset, then obviously you won't, well, hopefully you won't be listening to this because, you know, we only take, you know, we only, you know, we, we've got a sort of a, you know, high barrier to entry, but not so high that, you know, if you are open to the idea and sort of open to a conversation and open to coaching and a little bit of like you know these are the reasons why it doesn't work because there yeah. are more conversations like that than there are yeah it's fantastic it's working it's all a piece of cake it's usually yeah. a case I think of like, that's right Pete. i mean some of the advice that you've given me it and and you've sort of said to me and it, it, as an estate agent it sometimes doesn't make any sense um because you think of it as an estate agent rather than a member of the public but a couple of things that you've sort of said and a couple of bits of advice would save me an absolute fortune on a route that I might have taken that wouldn't have been effective. So again, it's all about that relationship and, and being able to trust someone to do the job and to deliver for you. And that's certainly what I get with you, which is brilliant. Yeah, cool. Well, fan fantastic. Thank you very much for that, Damien. Um, that's all right. So uh, yeah, uh, well, if you're an agent and you, you, you're open to it and you're proactive like Damien is, then uh, get in touch with us. But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much for that, Damien. Definitely five day. stars, Pete. My pleasure. Nice one. Thank you, mate.